Hello everyone, it's me Davai and uh, I continue building the GunView uh, application build system. So everyone can use the composables and the components uh, to build some gun powered view apps. And uh, today I want to show you uh, the chat component, how it's uh, properly built now and how did I achieve that. So let's see, we have two uh, browser windows uh, with uh, each of them having a different user logged in and they have a chat uh, with each other. So Fancy has a floaty chat so he can go here and floaty has chat with fancy and they see the same chat window and yes we they can say hello to each other and just start chatting and uh, previously uh, this uh, was rendered just with uh, you know four, four lists so the uh, list grow, grew and grew and grew uh, to get very huge and very slow and also the sorting was implemented just by ordering in CSS with the order uh, CSS property and the flex um, containers it was just a uh, you know a uh, little thing to play with but now it's built more uh, properly and uh, I've built a test suit so if I type a number here so 20 I have this button to spam at 20, 20 messages uh, like random messages uh, from one user to another so I can spam even 20 from here and uh, this list will uh, quickly grow and grow and grow so uh, now it's now it's growing. I have a timeout of uh, 200 milliseconds uh, for the right order of the messages. And yeah, now the list is huge, but uh, you see it's quite fast and uh, you can notice that it's just you know loading uh, loading. So they are not um, th these nodes are not rendered all. Uh, at the same time we render only those nodes that we need uh, now at this time so uh, how mm, is it implemented and uh, how is sorting implemented and how uh, I'm sure that uh, we can even uh, get uh, 200 uh, messages here and it will be uh, fine and uh, the app will still be uh, quite fast uh, let's uh, just uh, dive into code and find out. So we go to the root of the repository, to the components, to the source and to the chat. And then we have this, you know, spam function that just submits uh, these random messages. And uh, yeah, it's still, <laughs> the list is still growing, but yeah, it's still uh, pretty much usable and it scrolls down and it's uh, fine, so um, ev we even can, uh, you know, let them chat together, <laughs> so they're mixed uh, here with each other. Let's, let's say that they have 20 messages for each other, so yeah, it's, it's growing. And this is happening in the chat room, so the chat room has the chat messages uh, component and the chat input that has this send event and on send we uh, just, uh, just use this function that's coming from the composables, uh, from the composables chat and use chat and here is the send function, so if we have a message we will say get uh, this route by the user and put the message with the certificate like this uh, so yeah we are putting it and getting the list but how do we render it uh, this happens in the chat messages uh, so uh, first we get the messages yeah and the messages um, appear here and they are um, again from the use chat um, uh, use chat um, uh, composable function and here is the messages so it's a computed but finally we need to 
look inside. So it's a reactive object that's populated w uh, while we uh, map over the uh, records in the database and we get the timestamp from the key. So the key contains the timestamp and the author, the pub key of the author of the message. So now we have uh, the timestamp and the author and the message objects. It's just like this. It has a timestamp, the author and the text that is inside. So we are storing just plain text, no object here, just a text. Uh, okay, uh, like this. So let's let's uh, store this place and go to the um, chat uh, room. So we get the messages and just just you know place them in the chat messages uh, component so the chat messages components gets them these messages as the prop and then goes through them so uh, we have a computed that generates that was an object now we have um, the uh, array so message array is just object that values of the messages object then we get this ref debounced from the view use um, library. So what it does is that it's uh, just, um, you know, updates this ref uh, only if uh, it stops uh, updating for some time, like, uh, you know, for uh, 200 milliseconds or something like this. So uh, it's debounced. And uh, we need that because we need to sort the messages. So the messages, the sorted messages, uh, we uh, get the um, computed function. So it's reactive and it reacts to the uh, this deb list, the bounce list, and then sorts this array uh, by the timestamp, uh, by the just strings. So strings and should go fine. And yeah, we get the sorted uh, array that we just use as a source for this virtual list. So what is this virtual list? Virtual list is a external dependency, view three virtual scroll list. So it's uh, just a, an npm install, installed uh, component that supports big amount of data with high render performance, performance and efficiency. So uh, it shows only the messages that are now on the screen and it's virtual list and it even knows the height, the height of the list. So if we have, uh, you know, emojis, it will uh, work just fine. Um, yeah, uh, okay, but maybe I have this tab frozen but it should load it should load fine let's let's check it yeah it loads it loads fine and um, yeah it works so um, this virtual list gets the key so it will be the timestamp gets the sources and gets the component that will render uh, our um, list and the last thing is that uh, we're just uh, watching this deb list uh, the bounce ref and uh, when and it's triggered when uh, the it changes and the next tick we just use the um, uh, exported function of the virtual list to scroll to bottom so uh, here is the ref list for this component we have this uh, list here and list scrolls to bottom so every time we place some I don't know this is freezing but it should work so hello mm, will this be displayed here I suppose it should be fine you know I have sometimes I have some errors with the database itself so it may get corrupted I, I suppose uh, if I uh, put too much uh, data at one time uh, into the list, uh, but yeah, it, it works. It is just it, it works better <laughs> than it worked before. So I think it's just okay for for now. Uh, oh, again, I need floaty floaty. 
So here is uh, the floaty and I refresh it. Yeah, we get the spam um, here yeah uh, maybe not all the messages yeah I have some issues with the uh, rad storage but it's not the uh, uh, scope for now uh, if we don't spam too much messages at one time it should be fine and yeah the main idea is that we can just have uh, as simple as a component that gets the source uh, the source um, prop and then we have the default like author timestamp and text and then render it and format the date and uh, get all the information we need uh, to uh, display uh, our messages in our chat window so I hope it works for everyone but yeah <laughs> sometimes uh, I get my messages lost from other users it's I need to debug it <laughs> a little bit but uh, yeah the, the 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 speed and the reliability of the list is you know obvious so have fun uh, with that uh, I think that it may be used not only for chat uh, messages but uh, for posts for rooms and uh, yeah when we have uh, all this processing of uh, of the um, of the object uh, it's not using DOM so it should be uh, fast and reliable even for you know tens of thousands of messages I suppose and maybe a million uh, so it should work fine without you know lacks queries on gun or something like this and maybe we can just uh, you know paginate like we by you know months or years and uh, it should work just fine yeah that's it for now uh, I hope you enjoy the build process with uh, gun view I hope that you will find the bugs <laughs> that just uh, appear here and there and help me develop this application together and the application build system together and uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye.